Ciao, 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 Chico Bellas. You know this girl, Jasmine is back. You are half Puerto Rican and, and half Bayesian. Bayesian, you see, for all of you who don't know what's Bayesian, it is uh, a girl from Barbados, tada. <laughs> like she's a Rihanna's colleague. And uh, right, we're doing 15 minutes makeup with your products as well. So Jasmine brought a couple of things like this lovely MAC palette. And to be honest, I don't think I can do it because she also wants to try the full face contouring. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Let's go, let's go, let's go. My MAC palette contouring here all over the forehead. This will be very dark first because uh, I'll blend it later with a foundation. Oh my God, we got a fly in the studio. <laughs> no way. If that affects the sound, we do apologize. <laughs> blend it, blend it, blend it fast, especially here. I'm using cream that it really goes in her little hairs on the forehead. Because otherwise this looks weird. You can't do it with powder. You see how I go, put your chin down. Ta-da! <laughs> Here, with powder, look. Blend it, blend it, blend it. You can help yourself with finger a bit. You see, I already made a gradient. It doesn't need to be perfect as well, because we'll go over with the foundation. These, I'll just point towards her nose and her mouth. I don't want to elongate her face. I don't want to shorten it. So just somewhere in the middle, somewhere in between. Same here. I blend it down, down, down. Then wait, because I need to color correct her skin as well. Right, one minute. I think I think we'll actually do this. <laughs> Take some orange. Look up. These are more purplish, right? Oh, I clean my brush in the hand. Need to. I'll just do it with my finger, because otherwise she'll be all dark under the eyes. God, no, no time to clean the brush. And here as well, just to give her a bit of a, a warmth under, under her eyes. She has prominent, which means protruding eyes, around her mouth as well. Because here it's where it's usually slightly darker. Just to give her a bit of a color, right? That warmth, warmth. Boom, done. That looks crazy. Now, <laughs> I need to take the foundation. Look, one, two, three pumps. I'll put it on a buffing brush and here we go. It's a lighter foundation, you see? Lighter that matches pretty much her cheek. But now I'll, I'm able to blend everything together and it will look nice. Hopefully. I haven't tested the makeup before on her, you know? I was just like, I'll just take it and do it. We'll see. If it will be too bright, we'll just put a bit of a bronzer over. Close it. And I really need to be fast with this. Do you feel okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not too aggressive, no? Because no. otherwise, say, say if I am, because I'm under pressure. No, it's fine. Good stuff. This brush is awesome, though. It's just look. Mm. You see? So we blend it nicely. Their contour dried out, you know? It really dried. So now I can blend it over and she still has the texture you see like it's darker on the forehead we didn't wipe the contours off same here try to just go down first so now it's already set now I can push it wherever I like close it here over the eye and in the chin done this is done right three minutes that's all right now peach Make peach. You see me using this a lot. We need it because otherwise we can't dry the foundation. You know, close the eye. The foundation wouldn't dry fast enough. Therefore, I need to put powder over. But it's also like mineral powders are really cool for a night out because they... Uh... <laughs> you see, this is what happens if I don't <laughs> cut the videos. I don't know how to say something and I'm like, because uh, uh, otherwise I just cut the video and I do I do a new one. Anyway, look, I'm buffing it in as well, the powder, because this is how I'll set it. It's a very soft brush, so I can be a bit more harsh <laughs> with Jasmine. Here, done. Boom. Look up. 
I tap it over because here, here we need to apply two shekla underneath anyway. Oh, she didn't clean her makeup well enough before. <laughs> oh my, you see? Like half a minute more, Jasmine. Close it. <laughs> okay, half a minute more. Right, now I got lost. I'll take your eyeshadows. No, I first take the pencil, cold pencil, close it. She wanted to have uh, smoky eyes. And I'm like, damn, smoky eyes in 15 minutes. <laughs> Not not the best idea. You now first look I'm going over with a pencil which I sharpened too much. So it started <laughs> crumbling. Oh I start to put your chin slightly more like this. It'd be easier for me. Well I'm not I'm not careful how I'm doing the line. I'm just putting it on because I blend it with a brush. And look up this pencil just crumbles. Look, it broke again. It's my my L'Oreal pencil. Here I go just on the outer corner, but then I'll blend it all in. So, I'm taking my Zuivas 232 brush. At first, these crumbles need to fall down. Uh, uh, up, good. We got rid of them. <laughs> now, just leave it closed and I'll blend it down. This will be slightly more pressure. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise I can't do it. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Down, down, don't blend it up, because otherwise problemy. You see, we made a nice gradient. Open, now look up. We needed that gradient, because she has protruding eyes. And you see how it's stuck on the, on the lower part. So, look, I'll just blend it now. Up, just up where, where the color is stuck on. So blend all this. Good. Take all these little flakes of the pencil off. Because otherwise she'll be all black around the eye. Close it. And turn your face slightly. Lovely. Thank you. Here. I blend it out first. And here I start blending it down. Down, 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 down. Once again, don't blend it up, right? You could do like this, but not, not like this. Cause I, on the outer corner, I mean, cause otherwise you'll just have it all over the place. So pull it in, 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 in. What's the time, Jasmine? Are we, are we there? Seven minutes. All right, we cool, we cool. Here, look up. Other side. Okay, okay. Ciao, ciao. I go all over the lower part. If this is not even not a problem, you know, you still have then one minute after these 15 minutes that you can put everything in place <laughs> when you see yourself from a distance. There you go. Just look up. Don't look at me in the brush because otherwise I can poke you in the eye. But done. You see how it blended nicely because I applied it just on the outer corner. Now I'm moving it in and it's done. It's blended. Here we go your eyeshadow. For this I need a fluffy brush. Let's go closer. That they see better. Wait, hope oh, it will zoom in. I need a new camera for these videos, but hey, eh, is it zoomed in? Here we go. Look, darker color. This is Jasmine's MAC palette that she got from who? Uh, my friends for my birthday. Yeah, good friends, huh? <laughs> Look, I'm going with this darker purple all over. First all over the eye. Uh, slightly tap it and drag it like this. Tup, 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 tup. Here I build it up. I'll do more cat size. I'll build it, build it, build it up. And this is it. I go on another eye. Oh, here I need to blend it more. Oop, 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 oop. You see, like, the colors stick a bit if it wasn't such a precise um, application of powder before, you know. When we started, I should put powder more evenly, then everything would blend nicer. Tap, 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 tap. We want to push this eye slightly more in the back, so that we flatten it in a way. Is that my mobile or yours? <laughs> Mine, probably. Uh, naughty, naughty Jasmine. <laughs> Here we go. 
lower part look up the, the, the blended 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 so it's the inner part I can do a thick line here because she has almond shaped eyes you know all looks cool other side need to put a bit more on the brush and that's it now I'll use the middle color and I'll blend it right which one this should be a middle one close it blend it just here on the crease basically that we get that gradient and oh my god I took some pink I think this pink <laughs> it should be more orangey but no it looks cool look it looks cool it will make your eyes pop anyway because it's all complementary <laughs> color <laughs> right close it here just on the gray on the edge that I blend it together so that I make a nice gradient I actually love this palette look it's beautiful mm. the colors are awesome and then that she'll shine look in the camera hope this is even <laughs> oh my god five minutes more that is bad look I'll put it in the middle close it I'll put proper that gold shimmery gold that it bounces this is not a technique for her you know because she has protruding eyes open but it gives her a bit of light this is how Jasmine does it close it and it actually looks good but it would they wouldn't teach you this in the in the makeup school the only problem of this color is that the shimmer is flying all over even though I'm tapping <laughs> it she has it everywhere on the eyelashes right where am I? Lost again. Here we go. Nars pencil. No sharpening. I love this pencil. Look up. I'll just put it all around her eye. Here, here, here. Because she has almond shaped eyes. I don't look down. I don't need to worry where I put it, you know. Everything's fine. The camera dies. Each 10, 10 minutes the camera dies. So I'm using Rimmel's black... Uh, pencil is it yeah mm -hmm. black brown this is black brown and I'm, I'm making a thick line here let's see if the pencil is that good also if we're making it thicker because this is what Jasmine brought I liked it the, in the previous makeup tutorial this pencil proved to be awesome the lighter color of this one so now I really need to sculpt the brows because this is a night out makeup right and it's already up a lot. The pencil is slightly too waxy. So it sticks the eyebrows together. But we'll we'll see how it goes when I go over with a with a brush. How it wipes it off. This is the hardest part, because like making the eyebrows even when you need to do it really fast, it's like whoopala. Problem eh? Here, here, blend it in. So far so good. Hope you girls see well what we're doing. There, you see I made quite thick eyebrows, but hey, as I said, night out, party makeup. Cool. Ooh. Now we'll just blend it. Ugh, they look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well now, before I brush them away, I'll brush them up. Oh, good pencil, good pencil, look at that. They just stay in place. Didn't wipe it off. Ooh, I need to buy this Rimmel. Cool stuff. I would do a far better job if I would have time, definitely. But hey, this is cool. You see, that's why I like love testing girls' makeup because I I learn something new. And I try new things that then I'll buy. I'll definitely buy these Rimmel brow pencils. They're just awesome and also not shimmery. They matte, so it's cool. Here, I blend it up. Oh my, how much time do I have? Not much, yeah. Like 20 seconds. No, 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 because that the camera died in between. I have more. Uh, so right. Two minutes? Yeah, hopefully. Otherwise, just girls give me more because <laughs> I got lost on all the makeup. I'm like, where's my makeup? Oh my god. Well, just now the hardest part. Here we go. Oh, but uh, the lips. And I'm using some berry thingy from uh, Laura Mercier. I love Laura Mercier lip pencils because they're big and the colors are really nice. But 
this is also like when you do it it's far easier for you girls to apply makeup on your lips than it is for me to apply it on someone else because you know open where where to pull that line and you can adjust your lips in order to do it if it makes sense closing mm. yeah because you can just like stretch your lips and it's far easier for you than if i go like this right turn towards me because i don't see good 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 we're getting there here i go slightly more on the lower part i make them bigger because the upper lip is bigger than the lower one so i sort of match them and the hardest part for a makeup artist to do is like this part of lips the outer corners i guess i don't know for me the lips are the hardest to do because you need to go to see them from the distance otherwise you can make a, a big mess you know and i don't have time to see them from a distance now so i'll just fill them in especially on this inner part this is where the lipstick just doesn't stay because the lips are usually very dry so it doesn't stick on and i'll go over with um, ellie's fast lip gloss so let's hope that that lip gloss won't rub off when I go over. I didn't totally fill them in, but I'll just do it like this. This is cool. Da -da -da. Cause I can put it straight from the tube cause I can wash the tube then later. Right. Let's see. Ah, it slightly wipes it off. Slightly like these formulas are mm, or not. Wait, it's all right. It's all right. Good. Okay, this is cool. It doesn't wipe it off like lots of things would. Here. So you sound very like... No, no talking. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. Wait. Oh my. I just need to do the mascara and uh, those... How do you call it? Uh, Tushikla. Now I start losing it, you see? Oh, but have all the hands too dirty let me take my do you say mama 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 mama, mm -mm. mama. a bit like this yeah uh. well open well no the formulas are not the most competitive you see how uneven the lips are a bit they'll be uneven we fix that later but hey uh, that's it well the makeup's done actually because we only need to do the mascara and uh, two shikla here, down, and uh, we could put a bit of kiss and blush as well, that she gets a bit more cheeks, uh, tap it on, here, blend it, it's all red, and then I'll just go and I'll blend it with a clean finger, if one finger would be still clean, oh my, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it all over, and almost girls i hope you like this kind of a makeup tutorial concept that you see that you know doing makeup is not not that hard actually this for you would be far easier obviously like if i would need to do this makeup on myself i would do it really fast i mean i'll definitely finish it in 15 minutes so let's take the mascara in the end just go check yourself from a distance look up first start with the lower ones i told you this a couple of times it's a really cool idea that you don't make a mess when when you need to change your eye position you know by looking yourself in a mirror here as well lower part mascara is always the messiest part you really need to relax when you're doing it look down because otherwise it's all over the place. Like now. <laughs> no, 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 kidding, you still do good. So look, I first wiggle it in, I first wiggle it in, and then I just go like this, like up, 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 that I blend them nicely, so that they're not clumpy. Okay, and another eye. I did this just with, with one coat, you see, everything. I put it on the wand, and now I, wipe it and this is it look makeup complete done boom yeah 
hey, we're back. That was one hell of a challenge. It was just crazy because uh, I forgot to sharpen the pencil as well. And we, we sharpened it just when the camera died, you know, so we sharpened this one. It's all about how you prepare yourself, what kind of makeup you have in your bag, you know, what you wear. And uh, you can do it in 15 minutes because for me, it's far harder to apply this makeup than if you do it on yourself. For example, if I would go with the lipstick, I just take it and I'm all over. You know how mm, I apply lipstick. Yeah. It's it's easy. It's easy stuff. Same mascara. Pow, pow, pow. You blink a bit and it's on. And uh, contouring, first apply this. It's it thin. Put foundation over. Swirl it with the powder. Done. Easy stuff. Hope you like it because otherwise it takes me about 45 minutes to, to do real makeup. You know, if I would do this, if I do makeup, someone goes out like red carpet and stuff. I, I take like also an hour and a half. Just that you know, I mean, it's quite logical and quite a classic thing. I think in general, we makeup artists use about an hour to do makeup. Wedding or night out about an hour if, we, if we're quick. Hope that makes sense. Take care. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye.